today I'm going over like my everyday wake up routine with a few products I put on my face before makeup and my makeup routine. I wouldn't even call it a makeup routine because half the time it really is just the CC cream that I'm going to show you if I want and then I show you guys what I do if I add a little bit more because I think we all have those days where you're literally like I feel like crap, I don't look good, and those negative thoughts can consume you. So a lot of times when that happens, I put on a little bit more makeup just to help boost my confidence. Makeup is great that way. Um, I, I, I'm afraid this video is not <laughs> that good, um, but that's okay because I've never, literally I've never done a makeup video. Um, it's just highly requested from you guys, and so I wanted to give it to you, even though it's, <laughs> it's totally different. Um, so I just showed you, walked you through kind of what I do. Um, my face is broken out, so you'll get to see that too. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and you enjoyed this video. If anything, you'll get a kick out of it and laugh out of it. and Hopefully it brightens up your day. Without further ado, let's get to brushing. Just kidding. Just... <laughs> I don't... It's just so hard because... You know what, I'm just going to be completely transparent going through this because I thought this would be way easier filming than it was. First of all, I'm broken out a little bit and when you're this close to the mirror, you start picking. Which I pick, so I'm moving away in any areas. So I have essentially two different kind of like go-to everyday makeup with different products. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show both of them. Um, same for like my face products, I know you guys will probably ask, so I'll show that. In the mornings, when I get up with Jaden, I just started using this guy. It's like a vitamin C, really good for like anti-aging serum. Um, it is a little pricey, but for me, my anesthetician said it's good products, it's worth the investment. So, I either use this guy, or I use these two guys. I've been going back and forth with them, because I literally just got this like two weeks ago. So I go back and forth with them, I use this one day, both of these items or this guy. So this morning, I'm gonna use this guy because my face feels a little dry. The other serums aren't as like nourishing. We're gonna just put that on. And also, it smells terrible, but <laughs> feels really good on your skin. So I put that guy on. So here's the two different products I use. If I'm in a hurry, Jaden's super fussy, I literally use IT Cosmetics CC Cream a little bronzer and I go. If I have a little more time and I want my face just to look a little bit better, I guess you could say, or I want to use my nicer products, I will show you what I'm going to use now. Um, you know, so those days where you feel like you're looking rough or you want a little more confidence, I tend to use my nicer makeup makeup stuff instead of just a CC cream. So I always wear sunscreen. I am trying out this stuff. I actually really, really like it. Um, it has a little bit of tint to it. Um, but it's from an all-natural company I'm trying out, and I really like it. So I always, 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 always wear sunscreen on my face and on my neck. If I before I use this stuff, I used Elta MD. Both are regular or they're tinted. Um, great, great items. So now I use the Westman Atelier. I, this is the makeup you guys have been following me on IG that I've been raving about. Um, it comes in a stick, which I was not a fan of at first. My first was like testing it, but I'm in love with it. So I literally just outline up my face real quick. And if I have like areas, the cool thing about this stuff, it's so sheer, and then you can build upon it. Um, voila. And all I do is I take my brush, And then if there's areas that are just not as coverage or broken out, I can go back over those areas. Typically, I don't because most of the time I'm going to the gym in the mornings. I truly don't care <laughs> um, about that unless I'm really broken out. So I bring it down my neck. And then there is that. And then my next step, literally for almost my everyday go, is I have two different... Am I talking to the camera? I don't even know. Um, I have two different products that I've been using for a long time. Um, the Laura Mercier, they just went on business, so it's why I got this guy. Um, but I love their Baked and Balanced. Um, I'll do one on one side and the other. And I would literally just do this. 
on my neck. A little on my chin. And I'd call it a day. Um, the next one I'm using, I absolutely love this stuff. It's the West Manat layer. It's a bronzer, highlighter, um, and blush in one. And I'll show it on the other side so you can see the difference. One's on one side, one's on the other. That would be my everyday go-to routine, getting out of the house. Um, half the time I just wear the CC cream and I bounce. If I want a little bit more, I add the bronzers. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit more when I want to feel even better um, and go into like, if I'm going to the mall or whatnot. Um, you guys know I don't wear makeup very, very often. Even though I love makeup, I can be lost in Sephora for hours. But this is what I would do if I wanted to add a little bit more. So I would take the West Minette Layer Bronzer and just go in the corners of my jaw to redefine it. And then I go on my eyes and then a little bit more on my jaw just to bring out like more definition in my face. my foundation back over those areas um, so yeah that would be what it looked like yes okay so then I also need to take um, my mascara I hands down without a doubt 100% have been using this since I've been like 13 years old I will never go to an any other mascara L'Oreal telescopic is hands down my favorite I probably wear mascara, honestly, once a month, if, if that. Um, a lot of people ask me, that, that sounds so conceited when you say that, a lot of people ask me, but it, it's, it's true. Um, if I have eyelash extensions, no, I think my eyelashes are just really healthy because I very rarely wear mascara. And I also think it's genetic, it's a genetic, it's genetic. My little, sis, my little sister's eyelashes literally go like above her eyebrow. It's almost, it's, no, it's not there. <laughs> You ever have those days where putting on your mascara just doesn't go very well and you like blink and it's all over your face? Yeah, that kind of just happened. It's okay. So when I do my mascara, I like to go alternate back and forth. When it's almost dry, I go back and do the very tips to make them a little bit longer. Cool. And then there's mascara. You can see on this one, I totally messed up and blinked and it went everywhere. Um, I need to find a Q-tip. Normally I have hundreds of Q-tips, but Jaden discovered where my Q-tips were. So I need to go to the closet. <laughs> oh no! Cool. Um, a lot of times too, if I put mascara on, I like to darken my eyebrows just a little bit and I use Anastasia Brow Gel um, just to match it a little bit. If I'm wearing heavy makeup, I use a little bit more brow gel and make it a little bit darker. Um, but yeah, this literally is my everyday go-to look or a little bit more. Um, it's really nothing special. I don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, that's about it. The products I use, I absolutely love. If my lips are feeling a little dry, I have stuff in my purse. It's just a chapstick. Nothing fancy. So yeah, there's my everyday makeup, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is my literally first one of these, and I've always put them off because I feel like there's so much pressure to be able to do makeup perfect, um, which is why I'm going to take a little while to do my full face of makeup because doing winged eyeliner Take some serious concentration and underneath pressure. I'm just not there yet. All right, is that it? Is that everything? Oh, 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 I will say this. Sometimes if my like uh, eyes are like looking funky real quick, I'll just go through here with an already like bronze brush and I'll go right in my creases um, just to give a little bit more pop and then that's it. 
But literally, most of the time, you guys, I literally put the CC cream on and I bounce. Um, just so I have sunscreen protection because this guy has the 50 SPF. If I'm feeling a little pale, I'll add just real quick. Um, a lot of times I don't even put makeup on it. My bronzer brush already has stuff on it. And I go through. Once I start working out, I clean my brushes. Yeah, so there's that. Cool. I also freaking forgot, I don't know how, um, a messy bun tutorial, another highly requested item. You guys, I've been doing messy buns since I was a little girl doing gymnastics. It was the only way my hair would stay up. Um, so I've been literally doing it for like 20 some years. So literally, I'm gonna show you. The, I will say this, the dirtier your hair is, like messy buns on day three and four or five are the best. So my hair is now on day, what's, what's today, Wednesday? Four, my day, hair's on day four. So the naughtier it gets, honestly, the better it's gonna be. Um, as gross as that sounds. So I use hair ties that are nylon. They're stretchy and they don't tangle my hair very much and you get them at Walgreens. So this is literally how it works. I rough it up. I literally pull all my hair on top of my head messily like this. I take my bands and I just continue to wrap my hair around. And then if it's way pineapple-ish, I take that chunk, I come around and I just stick it in the hair band. Just like that. And I mess with it or I pull on it. Normally, I'd let it be that first time. Um, <laughs> this is a rough but it's messy button. But that's okay. Pressure, right? And I just play with it until I get it the way it looks. So I'm gonna do that one more time for you because I know it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Also, the only caveat negative thing about messy buns, your hair does get a little naughty and sometimes they get stuck. But hey, women problems, right? So I'm gonna try to do it in slow motion for you. So I pull my hair up as much as I can on top of my head. I take the band and before I even finish like doing it, I, keep, I only pull my hair halfway through. I take my hand, I scoop it around in there and then I wrap the bands around that. There we go, that's a much better messy one. And then from there I go and I kind of mess with it and play with it and put it in. But that's literally what I do and then I take my baby hairs because I still have like postpartum hairs growing. God, I love Jane. And pull out some hairs. And there's my messy one. It's super easy. It's my everyday go-to. As much as I love, I adore my long hair. But having it down for long periods of time drives me absolutely bonkers. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like the messy button tutorial and I can't wait to see them rock those